Las Vegas, we are here live and in the flesh. I, uh, fresh off the plane, and the first place I had to stop was a black owned restaurant called Lolo's Chicken and Waffles. Now, I've heard about Lolo's for years. Y'all told me I gotta come check Lolo's out, so here I am. The place is jam packed. I had to call in a favor to the owner to get us in, so I was able to pull some strings thanks to my friend Erica from Soku out in uh, Mobile and Birmingham, and then the new Soku Prime coming to Atlanta, but uh, let's go check out Lolo's Chicken and Waffles in Vegas. Yes, come on, absolutely. I see you got your phones out, I know what it's about. You came, we did y'all with Darius, okay? Y'all did? Yes. Y'all came to Raleigh? Yes, I got a picture with you. Thank what y'all doing out here? Uh, we came to Usher, Usher last night. Oh, oh night. was it good? Y'all yes. had a good time? Oh my God. And then when y'all leaving? Uh, tomorrow. tomorrow night. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back. Here we get one. There you go. Thank you, Gary. All right, you guys are absolutely welcome. Thank you. Uh huh. We got the permission from Larry to Miss D. May I start us with, our, with anything to drink? They say the Kool Aid is. You gotta get that. Oh yeah. So I'll tell you all the flavors and then I can tell you my favorite. Yep. So we have tropical punch, peach mango, blue raspberry lemonade, and grape. And then my favorite is mixing our house lemonade, half that, and half grape. Yeah, that's called a gremlin. <laughs> so why don't I do one of those and a tropical punch? Okay. And then whatever these guys are having. So okay, he's gonna lemonade. want he's gonna want tropical punch. And tropical, <laughs> tropical for him? Yeah. Okay. Blue, raspberry, blue raspberry, blue raspberry, and for you, what would the flavor be? We have tropical punch, peach mango, blue raspberry, peach mango. Peach mango. All right. Tropical. Blue raspberry. Thank you, sir. I'll get you one more straw. So, have we ever been to Lolo before? First time. First time. Okay. So I'll tell you my suggestion, and then I'll tell you some of my personal favorites. Obviously, we have chicken and waffles, which are fantastic. I always suggest the first time we're trying the soul food platter. It's listed in red here. You choose any one of those entrees. It comes with two sides and either cornbread or a biscuit. That's the only plate on the menu that you can pick and choose and kind of build your own and taste exactly what you want. You can choose the waffle as one of the sides um, if you want it. You know, a little bit of so time. here's what I'm doing. I'm obviously there's a camera here, so I'm doing a review. Okay. So I'm gonna order quite a few things. Okay. For the entire table, you could just bring us some small plates and then we can just go from there. Okay. All right. So for the apps, though, can we start on this going to tease you? Okay. So. I am out of green tomatoes at the moment. That's fine. Okay. But you do have uh, beignets, pre-rolls, and okra. Yes. So why don't we do that? Any three for 20. Pre-rolls and okra. Yeah. Okay, and then what kind of fish is the blackened fish? Uh, it's all cat. All right, so why don't I do the blackened fish dinner? A order of the shrimp and grits. All that, all that I wanna do, baby, baby. Uh, Everything is gonna be on this for you. Yeah, and then um, the fish or shrimp and chips, fish. Fish and chips, yeah. And then, just like your, like the Lolo's classic. Cause that's three pieces of chicken and a waffle. Okay, then on the side dishes, dirty rice. Yeah, so four sides, that's perfect. So, dirty rice, mac and cheese, string beans, yeah, and red beans, red beans and rice, and then I do one outside of the collard greens to try those. 
And that should be plenty, I bet. Have I, did I miss anything that's like a must have when I come here? I pretty much, I did the run of it. I think, yeah. I yeah, think I did the run. The, the real highlights. We got one of my favorites, which is the black and fish dinner. Um, I think you did pretty good. Cool. Perfect. All right, guys. Thank you. Kool-Aid time. So they have uh, Tropical Punch. I don't know how loud Mary J. Blige is, but they got Tropical Punch and Grape and Lemon Mix, which is very much reminiscent of um, a gremlin in uh, Philadelphia. It's straight Tropical Punch. Straight Kool-Aid. Nothing wrong with it. Straight Kool-Aid. It's Tropical Punch, sugar, and water. That's what that is. Same deal with this. Tito's a little bit sweet. You know how I am with the sugary drinks. I mean, it's good. It's a little sweet. It's like a four out of five. If you like sweet drinks, you'll love this. Um, I mean, it's cool for what it's worth. Let me see. She's sweet. Very sweet. I'm Ms. Z. I don't mind you guys coming in here. I mean, I didn't know. I am on an hour away, you know what I mean? So they're not sure. They weren't sure. They were just doing their job. No, so, that's you know, fine. I just, I felt, was asking. She felt pressed. So. And I told Larry, I was only asking, because I don't ever want to be that kind of person that's like, you know who I am, I don't want to be that person. So what I told him, no, but I, that's not, but I don't want to come across like that, you know what I'm saying? So what I told him was I said, um, I just wanted permission for him to film, and that was it. And that's what it was. So I think it was a little bit of a misunderstanding, so my apologies. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Good. So far, so good. So far, so good? Yep. Where you guys from? Uh, Atlanta. Oh, okay. Atlanta. Yeah, right. we're out here for work. So these are... These are chefs, and this is my videographer. Hello. So we're here for work. We literally just landed. Oh, um, did? Yeah, oh, so okay. we're here for work, and this is our first stop. Okay, well, thank you so much for stopping here. Is this the first time you come to Vegas? No, oh, no. No lows, yeah, but yeah. I come to Vegas all the time. I see. Yeah. What's your favorite restaurant? Uh, Hank's is good, and then Den Tai Fung and the Aria is probably one of my favorites. The Aria, yeah, they just opened up a place tonight. They opened up a new restaurant inside the Aria. Which is Ocean. Yeah. So Den Tai Funk is good in the Aria, and then I also like um, Javier's is good too. Over there. You know what? Javier's is really good. Well, the last time I went, Javier's was good. When yeah, I went. as a matter of fact, me and Larry, I think we went, I want to say, maybe three months ago. It wasn't good. And I used to like Javier's. I thought. Nashville's is still one of my favorites. Their chocolate cake and their bread is, I'm good. Yeah. Like well, it. Hank's in, um, and Green Valley Ranch is pretty good. Is it? Yeah, it's at the like the steakhouse over there, like Martini Bar. Okay. They got like a couple hundred different martinis, so it's pretty good. Yeah. You guys not drinking today? I, no, we don't drink. We're, we're, this is a work. What do you mean? I want to help. Yeah, well, I can't get my reimbursements approved uh, for expense if for lunch. I can do it for dinner. Oh, you can for dinner? Okay. I thought you guys didn't drink. No, 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 no. We drink. No, no, no. We drink. But we just got here. They got work to do. So. How long you guys in the We here until Tuesday. Okay. So we're here for Tuesday. Yeah, so we got. How's that peach mango though? That's my favorite right now. Peach. Peach. It's so hard. That peach mango with tequila is so good. I'm about to give you guys some shooters. You guys can taste some shots, right? You can't say no. I. They can say no. Yeah, they write 21. They write 21. Okay. Did you order some appetizers? We did. Yeah, we got a whole lot of shit coming because we're doing a review. So. Oh, you guys. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So we ordered half the menu. Yeah. Well, you guys enjoy. I'll be back to check up on you. All right, we'll be here. And then if you need anything, let us know. Thank you, Ms. D. We appreciate okay, it. Thank you. Appreciate it. So you already start the day out. When you open the door at 11 o'clock, we're talking about opening a restaurant. You open the door at 11, you're already $3,000 in the hole. He already said they've been there since five prepping. You gotta pay them the labor. You gotta, gotta, gotta have the food, gotta have electricity, gotta have heat or air conditioning, gotta have motherfucking um, gas to cook the food, you gotta have all that. So you already, when you open the door, you're at a disadvantage. You see what I'm saying? And then you have a time limit on the product you're selling. So if your food, if you don't sell that food after it's prepped, then that's money going down the drain. You see what I'm saying? So that's your initial investment and your profit going down the drain. So as I was saying, like, I could probably make, you know, 30 grand 
on a Friday in the restaurant, but I'm only keeping 1500 so it don't make no sense. Whereas, let's say I wanted to become a cookbook author or a social media influencer. I got an inventory came in, I paid $400,000 for inventory of pots and pans that came in like two weeks ago. I ain't even put them on sale yet, I ain't sold nothing. That 400 grand that I spent will make me money like the last skillet I sell, I will make just as much as the first skillet I sold. It doesn't expire. You see what I'm saying? So I'm already coming in the door making more money than I would if I had a restaurant, even doing a tour. Yeah, I think, I think even though that's been my goal and dream and stuff uh, all of my life, most of my life, that's just been like the one avenue that I know of. I know, like, you can have a restaurant building, people can come in, but meeting you and stuff, yeah. working with you, opened up my mind and stuff that I'll live for different sources, making income. Yeah, I think it's amazing what what can be done, like what you can do outside of a restaurant, but people, they be so stuck on the four walls of a restaurant, you know what I'm saying? And a restaurant, it's a money trap. Everybody in here, they here for one reason, money, to work. That's it. There's some money chart. You, every, you gotta pay everybody around here gotta be paid. E-commerce, I put Tammy on salary. That's it. That's it. If I get bored, I can go ship. If she get bored, she can go ship. I can go live. I can go live right now. Give a discount code. Make forty thousand dollars. Right now. And how much money am I out of? Who I gotta pay? What's my expense cost on all that? It's a much, it's a, the, the industries are like night and day. And once I got on this side of it and I saw this, you can't pay me to go back over there. I mean, if I ever get bored, I could do it. And I tell people, the only way I'll open up a restaurant, and this is gonna sound arrogant as fuck, but whatever, is because I'm Darius Cooks, right? If I wasn't Darius Cooks, I wouldn't open up no fucking restaurant. I could open up a restaurant, I could have 200 people in line before we even open the door. So I'm cool, you know what I'm saying? But everybody can't do that. And I recognize that. So that's why I be telling people like, I mean, unless the Lord told you to open a restaurant, <laughs> we consider you ain't got that kind of money. It costs a lot of fucking money. You know how much a place like this costs rent wise? Like 18,000 a month. Tell about the cable. Oh yeah, you gotta pay for the thing. Well, I was running uh, fire sticks off the internet. But you you gotta pay each one of those box you gotta pay for each one of those boxes. So your cable bill finna be hitting, you know, twenty five hundred a month. These are Kool-Aid shooters, okay? Kool-Aid shooters. Yeah. All right, Kool-Aid shooters. Enjoy. Thank you, Miss D. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, it don't make no sense. All right, these are Kool-Aid shoot. I don't know if y'all can hear me. You know, I'm holding it like this. Kool-Aid shooters. I don't know if I'm supposed to sip this or what. Because they're making the Kool-Aid too sweet. Say it again. Well, you, you, you do yours and tell me if it's sweet. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. That's what he said, it ain't bad. It's not sweet. I don't know what that is. This is Kool-Aid. It's not bad. It's not sweet. I don't know what that is. All right, so I got to give you a rating on some of this stuff, don't I? So it is light on the liquor or cheap liquor because it ain't strong at all. That's why I said I could, I could drink that. This is um, oh, a four. And the Tropical Punch also, I'm going to give it a four out of five. It's a little too sweet for me, but four out of five will work for y'all. All right? Yes, me. Yeah, and I was looking at my phone. I said, yeah, I'm following Darius, but I'll be seeing you soon. Okay, thank you for following. I appreciate it. All right? We are. Yeah, we have to do. Yeah. Sorry. 
I'm I'm Southern. I'm not that Southern. I'm sorry. I draw the line. I do like flesh meat only. Internal organs don't do don't work. Yo, no. Yeah, flesh meat only. Like, yeah, you know. I I could. I would. It depends. No, I love it. Mustard and hot sauce. Yeah. Yeah, I will. With a little piece of white onion, a pickle, and a piece of white bread. There you go. And I know how to eat it now. Don't play with me, okay? I know how to eat it. Where are you from? Oh, that's why. I was raised in Chicago, but our people came from Tennessee, Mississippi, and that's how they did it, so that's how I learned how to do it. Yeah. No, you ain't create nothing, girl. You ain't create nothing. Have a good day, all right? I'll make it up. Uh oh, all right. Trio. What's the trio exactly? So the trio is the catfish beignets, the Mizdi's pre roll, and the fried okra. Catfish beignets. Yes, sir. I have hot sauce, ranch, and then the sweet chili sauce for the egg roll. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Okay, now he said catfish beignets. Let me tell you what this is like to me. What is it like to you, Darren? Catfish nuggets, right? Yeah. Why do they call it? Oh, maybe it's in beignet batter. Let me see. It's good. I don't get beignet though, but it's good. It's a five out of five. It's, it's seasoned, crispy. It's good. I don't know why it's called a beignet. So there's cheese in this. This is somebody's pre-roll. Oh, pre-roll. Oh, we are in Vegas. Now I get it. It's a little slow. <laughs> it's good. I just can't figure out the, ooh, 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 that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> they give you one egg roll. It's okay. Is it better than some of the egg rolls we've had on tour? Yes. But at the same time, it's not giving me, I'm not getting like, jump up and down amazing. I'm getting good, don't get me wrong. Four out of five, right? But I'm not getting anything that's like, wow, you gotta have this. All right, let's try the fry okra. Mm. Okra's regular. It needs some seasoning. One place we went. They took the regular okra and put it in like Cajun seasoning and shook it up when it was done and that was beautiful. This is just okay. So as it stands, catfish five out of five, egg rolls, solid four out of five. Okra, it's like a two just because it's just regular okra, out the bag, fry, and that's it. But you know how I do these reviews by myself and y'all be like, no, dear. just this morning somebody told me, you always pick the bad restaurants. You trying to tear down black on rest? Shut up, I'm not. Y'all tell me where to go, but I got two chefs here. So why don't we uh, let them see what's going on? What's in the egg <laughs> Chicken and bell pepper and onion. All right, this is Kareen. He's going to try the egg roll by itself. I'm only doing this because I don't know if you guys can hear him or not. He's biting, he's chewing. He's looking in amazement. We're waiting for the first words out of his mouth and they will be 
There's a laughter. Not bad. Not bad is what he came up to. What What are you tasting? What are you describe what you're having? Almost like a chicken Philly egg roll. Okay. I thought he could use a little pinch of salt. What do you think? He could use something, but I'm wondering if the sauce is gonna liven it up. Okay, he's wondering if the sauce is gonna liven it up. That's what he's wondering. Let's see what he thinks with the sauce and see if it comes alive. And he's chewing. And he's thinking. Still the same. Still the same. So give me a rating, one to five. One being horrible, five being amazing. I'm changing. 3.5. Darren, your turn. Oh, wait, try the catfish. The catfish beignets. You had it already? Catfish good, that's what he said. And he from Forsyth, Georgia. <laughs> Catfish good. Scale of one to five. Five, there you go. All right, let's catch Darren. Chef King Darren at your service. Oh Lord, he said Chef King Darren at your service. That's what he said. All right. He's going in for a bite. He's chewing it. In his mind, he's contemplating the sauce before he gives his initial assessment. He's doing the he's doing the dunking technique. You put everything in the middle. Okay, so he says the sweet the chili sauce, the sweet chili sauce wakes it up. Is what he said. That's what he said. So Darren, scale of one to five, one being horrible, five being amazing. 4.5, that's on the egg roll. Try the catfish. He's biting it, he's tasting it. Fish is good. Fish is good. Crispy. Crispy. Clean grease. Clean grease. Scale of one to five, five being horrible. I mean, five being amazing, one being horrible. So what's the what's the what's the rating? A four. Yeah, what's the rating? You can put it right here. I'm so, hold on, y'all. I missed it. What you say, five? There you go. So there's a five on the. Uh, Thank you. There's a five. Sorry, y'all. It's a lot going on, and the food, all the food came at one time. There's a five going on. All right. I've got to dig into all of this one bite at a time. So I am going to start. So this is the blackened catfish that has like a sauce of some sort on it. Not quite sure what sauce this is, but we'll see. Hmm. Catfish is good. Catfish works. I love that it's like roasted. There's like a little bit of a crisp to it. Dirty rice is good, but the dirty rice is instant dirty rice. It's fine, but it's instant. Okay. Squash is okay. I guess it's good as anything else you'll get. Solid four and a half out of five on this plate. I don't really find anything wrong with this. The combination works really really well but I do want to try the fried shrimp and grits there's some bacon happening let's see let me see hold on
I don't find anything wrong with that. Let me show you this. Is it simple? Yes. But the thing is, when simple is done right, you can't really find much to say about it. Grits are creamy. Sauce is good. Cheese is on top. They load it with shrimp. They load it with bacon. Let me try this biscuit. And now this biscuit looks like it's homemade. I ain't never seen no biscuits. Unless they cook them in a, like a, like a mini um, butt pan, in like a mini loaf pan. Cause even the individual sides, no, no, they, they, no, they, pull, no, they pull it apart. They pull it apart. Maybe they just form them differently, who knows? Three and a half out of five on the biscuit. Biscuit's okay, but the shrimp and grits are good. Let me try this cornbread. Why you keep scooting over? Why you keep scooting over? You don't want to be in the video? It's too late. You're already hitting it. Cornbread. Mm. Five out of five. That cornbread is amazing. Let me try this macaroni and cheese. beans and rice, just okay. Macaroni and cheese, solid, but I would expect more from a black owned establishment. It's good, it's fine. Green beans are actually really good. They're super spicy, so you should know that. So the mac is like a three, the red beans are like a two, the green beans are like a four for me, all right? Let me try this uh, fried chicken. I didn't even know people asked. It's decent. Enough salt. Crunch is there. Crisp is there. I'm trying to find something wrong with it, and I really can't find anything terrible with it. So I'm going to go and give it a four and a half out of five for y'all, because really, I don't find anything wrong with it at all. Let me try the waffle. You know, we've had our, we had our fair share of waffle situations around here. Uh-oh. 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 Waffle was a little tough. Let me see. What's a waffle? Nothing really to write home about. It's a waffle. It's moist. A little crunch on the edge. It's done well. It's a waffle. Am I like jumping up and down going, whoa, it's a waffle. No. Nah. Collard greens are okay. Average. That's what I think. I'm gonna put the camera on both Darren and Kareem. And I'm going to give them the microphone so that they can hold it and they can tell you their thoughts. All right. I, now, what I will do is I will direct them and coach them. Okay. But I will not put any words in their mouth. Who want to go first? Kareem, you want to go first? Okay, let's go Darren first. <laughs> Just hold. You talk, you just talk into this part. All righty. Make that round. All righty. That was a fish and chips. It's just fish. <laughs>
pretty good. Batter is good. Grease good. Uh, four. Four. My pinch of salt. Grab your fork and get to some of these side dishes. I was gonna say bland. Right. Got a little pinch of spice at the back. Yep. But it's still on the bland side. And it's, um, can you call this instant or homemade? The rice would be instant. Yeah, exactly. and added. <laughs> it, was, it was added and mixed. <laughs> so give me a rating of one to five. 3.8. 3.8. And be sure to hold my TMI. 3.8 on that rating. Going into the macaroni now. <laughs> this cheese ain't right. It ain't right. This cheese, this milk, something ain't right on the dairy on the dairy beans. side. Two. Or two. All right, come on, red beans and green beans. Two on green beans and potato. Beans. <laughs> I don't even want to swallow this. This ain't got a pinch of salt in it or, or, or pepper. So you're missing seasoning. What are the green beans missing? You only gave them a two. The green bean? Yeah. Seasoning. So they the, um, like that. Yeah, they're, they're tender. The potato soft and the right tenderness. Get that cool, yeah. Get that um, bread. <laughs> on that plate, yeah. Yeah, that's that plate. Yeah. Just it over there. Hit them collard greens, bro. Corinne, well, you ready? It's your time to shine coming up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Need salt. Need salt. Small seasoning. Triple grit. Man, I see that big one. You want your mushrooms? I don't like them. I'll be a minute. I'm gonna get the grits and bacon. I didn't get a piece of shrimp. All right. The shrimp is juicy. The shrimp is juicy. The grits give me a heavy a more heavy on the Old Bay side. Um, other than that, I think it's lovely. Scale of one to five. Three. It could be. It could be more. It could have more of a sauce to it, okay. so it's not so thick. And this is the black and catfish. See now, it's, it's sauce on her. That's good. Yeah, they, they did that. Scale of one to five. 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 They, they put a little lemon juice on top of that. Okay, a little lemon juice. I'ma just rip this. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Give me some syrup. I ain't wanna cover no taste up with sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, Waffle didn't do nothing for me. It's very thin, and 
paper thin and crispy. The syrup is warm and buttery. What am I calling? <laughs> I've been trying too much food. The waffle is thin and crispy, and the the butter the syrup is warm and buttery and thin. The chicken. Chicken to full, pinch of salt. All right, there we have it. Hand over to Kareem. Kareem, it's your time to shine, sir. What you say, shrimp and grits? Okay, what are your, what are your thoughts? You had it with the, the shrimp by itself, or you had it with the shrimp? I ain't with everything. Everything. Mushroom, bacon. Everything. What are we thinking? Shrimp good, not overcooked. Uh -huh. um, the grits are very heavily seasoned with uh, Obey. Yeah. I don't know if it needs some more cheese or something to thin that Obey out, but yeah. Yeah. So, scale of one to five. Scale of one to five. I get a four. Four. You get these side dishes, bro. This is the beautiful thing about having chefs with me. Now you can check out their experience for themselves, all right? What was that, rice and beans? Come on, rice and beans. Rice and beans, no seasoning on them. If they have some seasoning, I give them a four. Without seasoning, I give them a three. Three. Mac and cheese? Mac and cheese ain't it. It tastes like a, a box brand. Okay. Dirty I, get rice. A, I get a two. A two. Oh my God. Dirty rice. <laughs> the dirty rice is seasoned instant rice. It's instant rice. With oil on it. Scale of one to five. I get a 2.5. 2.5. Green beans. Making our rounds today, ain't we? Green beans need a pinch of salt. Everything else is uh, it's okay. So I get a 3.5. 3.5. Hold the mic up so we can hear you. All right. You don't want to lose all that beautiful voice of yours. Collard greens are two. The collard greens are two. You catfish. Probably like the whole shrimp. That's a five, by far the best thing on the table. <laughs> That's why I say the best thing. Boy, don't even get to taste that. <laughs> you got waffles. You got waffles. Too. What you don't you put it back on? I'm gonna call it number two. You can't forget milk. You ain't gonna keep that whole half a bit. Oh, you nah. can't forget corn. Half a hand on this plate. <laughs> Microphone. Chicken bread juicy, fried good, and then a little, um, maybe a pinch of salt, maybe some accent. <laughs> catch, up, catch a piece of this waffle. Your favorite. Waffle okay. It's okay. What's, what can make it better? It had been thicker. 
And the batter, the batter misses something. It's like a like, sweetness. Yeah, it could probably be a, a hint of sweetness in it. Scale of one to five. A three. Three. All right, so now y'all had a chance to hear their review, not just mine. So uh, I'll finish this up outside without Mary in the background. Everything's good. Yeah. Cornbread's great, too. Thank you so much. Miss I appreciate you guys coming. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. We hope we didn't cause too much of a disturbance. Not at all. Now we know each other. So. We do. We got a couple people yeah. taking pictures and looking around, so we're going to get out your hair. No, no, take your time. And go Mom, back and... Yeah, I will. I don't have one. And see, and these are these are trained chefs. I'm nobody, but these are chefs. These, no, he's no, 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 not him. He's doing what he, he's doing. Yeah, he's doing what he's supposed to do. These two are the trained chefs. Well, they're more chefy than me. Yeah. I just pay the bills. He a vet. He a vet in the game. Cheesecake artist on Instagram. This guy is. Cheesecake? Cheesecake artist. That's his name. And then he uh he cooks. He does like our gumbo. He does everything. They, they, they. What, okay, so what's your favorite? What because every chef has a favorite thing to cook. So what would yours be? That's pushing on the cheesecake. The cheesecake? Okay. How about you? I don't really have a favorite. You don't really have a favorite? If I could, if I could brag on him, he really can't cook just about anything. Yeah. I, he, he a mess in every other way. Right. Timing, cleanliness, logic, common sense. He's a mess, but his flavor's on point. His flavor's on point. He ain't get that big well, for nothing. They say a lot of chefs are messy. Yeah. You gotta go behind and clean the kitchen. Yeah. No, that's him. That's him. But, 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 but. His food is good. But his food is good? His food is good. I put him up against anybody. There you go. So now we got we gotta ask Mr. Chef over here what he likes to cook. Nothing. He don't know what to cook. The cameraman, he likes to heat up. He don't know what to do. He put um, uh, ramen noodles and sausage together. Oh my God, he don't let the like that. He don't let the like that, absolutely not. He does not cook. Every week? You guys gotta be nice. Come on, yeah. He doesn't cook. You see what he's doing, right? That's what I, I pay him. I pay him to carry oh. that camera. He does a great job of that. He does a great job of that. Um, Chef D, it was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you for allowing us to come into your establishment. We out of your hair. Come on, y'all. Well, we did it. Another black-owned restaurant out here in. Well, this is our first one out here in Vegas, but we did it. Lolo Chicken and Waffles. Been trying to get here for years, and finally, I can say. I've been baptized in the Kool-Aid. If you're ever in the Las Vegas area, please come out and try. I keep telling you, black-owned restaurants like this, although they've been around for a long time, they need our love, our support, and definitely our dollars. Solid four out of five for me. Some things, like I said, not necessarily my preference, but I always tell you, you try it and you let me know what you think for yourself. So, get yourself out here. Y'all come to Vegas all the time. The Usher concert, uh, Stephanie Mills, whoever else, okay, uh, Taylor Swift, I don't know, whoever you come to watch. And then come over here and support this black-owned establishment. And then get in my comment section and you tell me what you think, all right? Lolo's Chicken and Waffles right here in Vegas.